Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip That started from this tropic point aboard this tiny ship The mate was a mighty sailor man, skipper ran right. ashore Open this up and see what we got here as far as a hive. All right, looks like they're in the rear transom area. Battery, we've got some new comb in here. Um, I'm gonna have to get a little uh, creative with getting these bees out of here. I don't know how much space they've got until I start pulling comb out. I do know that they're coming out the drain hole in the bottom, so probably underneath the fuel tank also. Uh, probably 99.9% point of the comb out of here. There's some just attached to all the hoses and things inside. Um, we probably had uh, probably four or five cubic feet of, uh, of comb in here. It went from uh, where we saw in the video a little bit ago all the way to the back transom. Um, and then all, you know, from top to bottom. We've got all the, the comb out. There's a good solid brood pattern. I didn't see the queen. I do believe I have her vacuumed though. Bees are going all after the uh, scent of the exhaust of the vacuum. So I'll check them when I get to the bee yard in a little while and uh, get them locked into a, a hive for a few days. And There's going to be uh, probably a couple hundred bees flying around. Uh, just foragers that will sit in cluster this evening. All this one just filled full. That buzz we got here. It was, a, it was a mess though. I only saved one piece of brood. Um, it was hard to get it out of there without just having it fall apart. All right, here we've got the bass boat bees been moved to a uh, hive body. We've got a queen excluder on the bottom so that uh, she can't escape. These bees going to fly around, try to figure out what the heck's going on. They've got a frame or two, actually one frame of brood in there for them to tend to and bring nectar in. And the queen can go ahead and start laying eggs and they're going to start uh, drawing comb. These bees just a little pissy right now. They're flying around, they don't know what's happened, where their home is, where their boat is. That's okay though. They'll settle down within a day. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic point aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailor man, skipper brave and sure. My passenger set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour.